Hi YouTube, this video is going to be talking about uh, Grimoire's Book of Shadows, part of the YouTube Pagan Challenge. And I had already shown what I had in my previous video uh, with the tag talking about journaling, but things have changed since then. Uh, almost right after I filmed that video, because there was so much uh, talk uh, in, in the YouTube uh, Pagan community uh, about that, there was a lot of stuff showing uh, Grimoire's and Book of Shadows. Um, and I came across uh, her speak channel, um, where uh, a very lovely witch called Molly showed off her uh, absolutely beautiful Book of Shadows, which had an art journal style. She'd just taken a novel, uh, painted in it, uh, pasted in it, written over the text, cut, cut stuff, added pages, torn stuff out, and it's absolutely beautiful. And it's an expression of creativity which was not really what the Book of Shadows that I had shown in my previous video was. It was very rigid and I had a lot of really bad ideas about what had to be in a Book of Shadows or how you had to approach it. Like it had to be perfect and pristine and in order. And at the end of that video I was talking about how this journal I had, that I had started, or not really a journal but just a collection of uh, songs and prayers, poems, random paintings, that I'd done over top of watercolor, uh, how, I, how I really liked that I could change stuff around, add stuff in, because it was a binder. And then I almost immediately went out and went against that, uh, because I really liked Molly's video, and I just sort of thought, okay, it's okay if I make mistakes in this, and it doesn't have to be in order, and it can just be an expression of where I am now, and it should be a piece of art. So I took this journal, which I also showed in my previous video, and this was what I used when I was studying for my year and a day. But uh, I don't use it anymore, and uh, I didn't really want or need to preserve what I had in here necessarily. Some of it I will end up keeping, but others I thought, why don't I use this as my art journal and I can paint over and you can still see the text underneath of it in some cases. So, open it up. This is just the, the title page here. This is... I'm still working on this one. But pages, strips that I tore out of a novel. I circled interesting words. This one says dragon, imagine. Uh, there's a pentagram. This is a five-leaf clover that I found in my yard. Uh, that's a weird thing that I didn't know existed, but I saw it. So I, I picked it, pressed it, and mod podged it in. Then on this side... Uh, this I just cut straight out of the small purple Book of Shadows because I liked what I had created and I liked I wanted to keep that Book of Shadows even though it was very rigid I knew that I was never going to add to it but I thought I can use it in here and I can keep uh, all of these were inked in in ritual and they have importance to me so I thought I know how to keep these I'll just include them <laughs> in here so again strips that have been uh, pulled out here uh, that's his smile <laughs> that I've circled there. This is um, uh, a flower that I pressed from uh, a tree that's out front. I put this book blessing on everything. It's a, it's one that I wrote myself. Um, I always think that those things you write yourself uh, have the most power for you. It says, In the circle by moonlight, let goddess form my words this night. Contain the wisdom I have found within these pages tightly bound. In mine own hand, these words I write, they are not formed for others' sight. Blessings of the wind and ground, tides and flame, this tome surround, so mote it be. So that goes in everything. And then here it says, as above, so below. And this is the first time, uh, you might not be able to see it in the video, but you can sort of see the, the, the penciled text from the journal underneath of it here. And then this is a window through to the to the next page, and that's a, uh, a painting that I did um, for the spring goddess and god and then on this side the window goes the other way and shows the book blessing just a little reminder to believe in magic uh, so here like here it's really clear uh, that you can see the journal that was uh, once was and then this I just uh, photocopied out of the book of pagan prayer because I love this this prayer um, anything with mountains really <laughs> so uh, 
that's just one of the things that if I if I write something in the other journal, it can always end up pasted into here. Again, these are from that previous Book of Shadows. This is a, a tattoo drawing, an idea that I had. Um, cut him out and put him in here. Uh, we can read. Uh, this is talking about uh, the wheel of the... Oh, God. I, I just noticed this when I put this in here. In my head, when I think about the months of the year, it goes January, February, March, April, like around that way. <laughs> Which is uh, Wittershins. Uh, but this one, it goes, you know, Ewell, Imbul, Gostara, Beltane, Letha, Lunasa, Mabon, Samhain, right? So when I put this in, I, start, I started trying to read the Wheel of the Year backwards, and it just sort of completely messed with me. Uh, just a weird thing that I noticed. Uh, here, you can see in the background here was me talking uh, about different, just writing down basic things about different uh, Wiccan traditions. This is obviously the four elements in this case. Uh, it's using spirit as a fifth and, and putting it in the, the pentacle. This is actually the same piece of paper as that. And I just sandwiched, I cut it out, it's about that wide, and I sandwiched it between the two pages, uh, which I then painted with watercolors, right? So that was one way of getting around the fact that uh, <laughs> I had written on both sides of uh, of that um, previous book of shadow, uh, and because it was smaller, it just it fit like that. Uh, this is the quarter call that I wrote. Um, it's designed to be sung, and there's a video of me singing it on this channel. I'll put a link in the description uh, if you're interested in hearing it. And then this is just with this aesthetic. This was something that I had seen in Molly's video with the with the red um, paint like that, and I. I borrowed it. <laughs> I think it's okay to do that. If you see something uh, online or something else that someone has done, uh, you don't have. You can you can borrow it. You can take it. You can make it your own. It, if even if you just want to like completely just print it out and put it in your book, I think that's fine. Just as long as you acknowledge the fact that it's not 100% your creation. I didn't draw these. These were um, photocopies that came from uh, Witches and Pagans magazine. Um, which I followed for a while before I... <laughs> I'm a student, I can't afford to anymore. Um, but uh, I penciled them in, and I just left them like that because I, I thought it was really uh, powerful, just with its simplicity um, and its uh, mirroring each other. Whenever I find an interesting word in this text, I circle it, that says spell. This was something that I... Um, felt was important. This is just talking about uh, accepting the light and the dark um, within myself. And it just says, this is who I am. I found this on the idea behind this on Pinterest. Um, like I said, if you see something online or in, in someone else's video, uh, in, in a book on, on the craft that you've, you've read, include it if, if you find that it's important. Uh, I, I changed the wording because I didn't like the way they'd worded it, but the idea was a good one, so I put it in. This is one of my favorite pages. This is talking about invoking and banishing pentagrams. Uh, you can still see the, the journal behind it. I painted over it with watercolor. Uh, I did the border. I cut out a page from that novel. I painted over that with white, then I inked on top. These are strips of tissue paper and then more ink. So this one's very layered and I really like the way that this one looks. Uh, even though it's smudged with the ink, I gave myself permission to sort of have that messy art feel. So that's okay. This one I just put in to remind myself uh, to keep a sense of wonder and whimsy. Uh, so if you don't know, 398.2 in the Dewey Decimal System is fairy tales. Uh, and this one I just uh, I just use negative space to, to, to make a dragon, and then I inked in um, like this guy fishing out of a hot air balloon. Uh, very fairy tale castle. Uh, that one's just for fun. This, this, right from the very beginning, I knew I had to do this. Uh, the Great Rite, the Chalice, and 
I use a wand because I don't use anathema. But again, the window through uh, to another page. I love doing this. This is amazing. Um, but on this side, it says chalice. So this is just drawings, descriptions of basic craft tools. This is about as far as I've gotten. But I still have a lot of journal to use. And then even after the journal, I still have all of this. So I just wanted to share this. I'm going to put a link down to Molly's video because it's a fantastic video. Um, even if this isn't an aesthetic or a um, style that you like, well, hers is different, but even so, she has a lot of good points um, about grimoires, about Book of Shadows. Um, it's a bit of a long video, but I think it's absolutely worth it. Okay, I have to wrap this video up. So, I want to thank you for watching, uh, and I just want to leave saying um, I look really forward to seeing everyone else's videos on this tag. Um, please feel free to use any of the, the ideas or images from this video. Uh, I think it's important um, that if we are going to be sharing these things online, uh, that we be open to um, collaboration and the sharing of those ideas um, in every sense of that word. Um, and just doing so completely openly, honestly, and you know, not claiming um, that things are 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 our soul like um, creative property. Because I think most things that go in in Book of Shadows, they're, usually they're coming from somewhere else, unless it's like a, a, a meditation thing or something like that. And that's another idea that I'm really excited to work with. Uh, but I'm gonna wrap this video up. I could talk all day about this. Uh, I'm gonna try not to. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching and blessed be.